So I've already mentioned about the size of the images we got. What we want to be doing is, and there are various ways you can do this, is you can go to tinypng.com, completely free. There is compressjpeg as well, .com, and there's other optimization websites, software out there. You can even add plugins into your WordPress website. So when you add in a big image, it automatically compresses it. But I find take the time to use tinypng, you know, when you're not in WordPress and just do it here, it just works quicker and you're not having to sometimes pay for a plugin to have some pro features. This is really, really good what it does. Right. I'm just going to now add in my images. So we're going to go and I'm only adding in the images that are big. I'm not going to add in the small light bulb images because they're already quite small. I'm worried I might make them so compressed that you're going to lose the quality of it. So we're just going to add in these images here. And as soon as you add it, it will now start to basically compress them. And you can literally see what it's doing. So that's now gone light down by 76%, 72, 41. Eh, I bet there's a bit more that can be shaved off that one there, web image four. So in total, it's probably going to come to about 70% in total, I hope, when it's fully compressed. And when it's done that, we can download all those images, 68% compressed. So that makes a significant difference. We have not affected the quality massively. There'll be a tiny, tiny microscopic detail that might have been skimmed off, but believe me, you won't notice it with the naked eye. So I'm going to download that. And once it's downloaded, I will go over to my downloads folder and I will just make sure I've opened up that zipped file because now the zipped file is unzipped. I can add those images to my media library. So let's do that.